Tim Brent blocks out the sun at nighttime. Tim Brent was an extra in 300. He was one of the shields. I keep getting prank called and whenever I try to figure out who it's coming from, it comes up as a Tim Brented number. Okay, that one was stupid. You're stupid. Ooh. You ready? Ding, ding. Big news. What? Whoosh. Seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. On a long day at the beach, you should always bring sun, Brent. Oof, that was a Leafs win three to nothing against the Carolina Hurricanes in the first shutout of James Reimer's career. And if you hear any construction in the background, it's just because they're erecting the new statue. No lead after one, but you could tell the Leafs had jump as they were out shooting the Hurricanes 13 to six. In the hit department, Colby Armstrong flattened Zach Boychuk. Let's be honest, guys, that was, that was a charge. And unless you're not up to date and you're blown out of proportion sports stories, this is the first game between the Leafs and Hurricanes since Nikolai Kuhlman got popped by Tim Gleason. And sure enough, Tim Gleason has to drop the gloves with Jay Rosehill. Gleason plays a lot of minutes for the Hurricanes and Rosehill only played about four for the Leafs, so it's not the best trade-off for Carolina. But really, if it was gonna happen, it was just good to get that out of the way. No one scored while either of them were in the box. Get it out of your system. Let's play. Now, in the second period. Been a blast, folks. See you later. King Clark McCarthy. Wow, it's a good thing that's not sharp. King Clark MacArthur scores with a wrist shot from the point. Fools Cam Ward, and it's one nothing Leafs. Earlier this season, Tim Brent blocked an Alex Ovechkin shot that was so hard it cracked his shin pad. And on this penalty kill blocks two point blank Eric Stahl slappers. I want to get one of those buttons like you're running for the mayor in the dark night that just says, I believe in Timmy Brent. Instead of Harvey Dent because he becomes two-faced. Chen blocking him too, Reimer making saves, Leafs having a great penalty kill, and when the puck is just at the line, Tim Brent's diving to get it out. And why is that important? Five minutes later, another guy that was on the Marlies last year, Daryl Boyce applying heavy pressure on Yoni Pitkinen. Pitkinen tries to clear it, but Boyce manages to keep it in and burst right past him. Deeks in front with a nice little move on all-star Cam Ward. He scores his third of the season and it's 2-0 Leafs. And to think about a month ago, you could have saw him for the price of a large pizza. Or a medium, depends on the establishment. And that was the good for Daryl Boyce on the night, but then came the bad. You want to talk about rotten luck, Daryl Boyce catches his face on the photography photographer's hole. Needless to say, he was pretty mangled and he had to leave the game and would not return. I know John Mitchell's close to a return, but after everything Daryl Boyce has been through the last few years, I would hate to see him miss games because of this. Now in the third period, talking about Timmy Brent again, wide open net, and he sco- Wow! Cam Ward with a save worthy of the one that Tim Thomas had on Boschman, just unreal. But poor Ward, after a save like that and facing over 40 shots in the game, the Leafs get it back and score about 10 seconds later, Chris Versteeg's 14th. 3-0 is the score, James Reimer with 27 saves, and that's the way the game ended. And you know, this morning around, oh, 1.30, I got pretty bored and decided to scroll through some old tweets. Not looking for anything thing in particular. I was just like, oh, I wonder what I said about James Reimer when the Leafs played Philly in that exhibition game in London, Ontario on September 23rd, 2010. Nothing specific. Uh, this one starts, James flipping Reimer. Good saves in a flurry. Oh, I like this part. Not enough Leaf fans know about this guy. And I tweeted this little guy after James Reimer helped the Leafs win 3-2 in an 11-round shootout. Last year, I called him the best Maple Leafs prospect that nobody talks about. Hopefully, this gets you talking. James Reimer. Oh, huh. and maybe I shouldn't brag because I once thought Alexander Suglobov was going to be awesome. Who? And after the game, and it's not surprising, although it's disappointing that it's not surprising, Jonas Gustafsson has been loaned to the Toronto Marlies for a conditioning stint. I hate to see that happen to Gustafsson, but it just makes sense. Why sit when you can play? And in another situation of why sit when you can play, Ben Scrivens has been sent to the ECHL. But I hope the stint does Gustafsson well. We've seen what he can do in Toronto, and there's a reason he's called the monster. And speaking of loaning players, did you know that Jerry D'Amigo, Leafs prospect, has been loaned to the OHL's Kitchener Rangers? And a lot of people are going, ah, it's about time. He should have been with the Rangers all year. Now, admittedly, I haven't seen a whole lot of Jerry D'Amigo this year. That's why I'd refer you to Chancellor on Marleys.ca. But if I had to give you an opinion, it'd be this. Would Jerry D'Amigo have scored his brains out in the OHL this year? Did he in the AHL? No. He was playing against older, bigger, faster guys. And now D'Amigo, already a very talented player, is going to take what he learned in the AHL and apply it to the OHL. And if I was a Kitchener Rangers fan, I'd be pretty happy. So that's it for this one, guys. So much to talk about. So the question of the game is talk about anything that I talked about. After last night's performance, what do you guys think of Timmy Brent? And actually, one more fact on that. Sarah Davis, who reports for the Marlies, told me that Tim Brent actually hunts with a crossbow. Dude, do you think James Reimer is the Leafs' number one goaltender? Or is he getting a little overhyped? How do you think Gustafson will fare in his AHL conditioning stint? And what do you think of the Leafs loaning Jerry D'Amigo to the Kitchener Rangers? Add me on Leafs Space. Add me as a friend or like my page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at Steve underscore Dangle. And I believe in Timmy Brent. Someone get those buttons made.